To be proactive is to take initiative and responsibility for our life and to make decisions based upon principles. As co-creators in this world of ours, it is within our power to achieve the good. To be proactive implies that our life is a product of our values rather than our feelings. That is, our life is a result of our decisions rather than our conditions. Habit one, be proactive, is the cornerstone by which we can fully engage the habits that follow. So how do we take action? Here are two important concepts that help to strengthen our proactive muscle. One, focus on your circle of influence. And two, expand the gap between the stimulus and response. Now let's take a closer look into what this actually means. Simply put, there are a number of things in reality in which we have either direct control, indirect control, or no control whatsoever. A prudent person takes the initiative to discover what is within his power and what is not, and then acts accordingly. By focusing on the things that are in our control, rather than wasting time and energy on the things that are not, our circle of influence grows and grows, in turn, allowing us to create and expand our capacity to make good decisions. Perhaps one of the hardest acts of courage is learning to say no to those who detract us from our circle of influence. As for the other concept, which consists of expanding the gap or space between the stimulus and response, let's review this now. The stimulus basically represents the things that happen to us, and the response is how we react or respond to the stimulus. The idea that we can expand the gap between the stimulus and the response implies that we possess a number of human endowments. In our freedom to choose, it follows that we possess self-awareness, imagination, conscience, and independent will. Let us say that a friend uses a harsh word against us, and we immediately become angry. By exercising our freedom to choose, we also have the option to become self-aware. In this case, we may become aware of our emotional intensity and quickly evaluate the importance of the situation. Imagination allows us to avail of the various ways to respond, and our conscience reminds us to act in accordance to our values and principles. Then we apply our independent will to best deal with the situation. Perhaps it is best to go for a walk and return to the situation when you are more composed. Or maybe it is in your best interest to then and there investigate your friend's course behavior. In other words, by availing of our freedom to choose, we learn to engage our natural virtues to help create better outcomes. So that was a brief intro to the first habit, be proactive, which consists of taking responsibility for one's life and actions. We also touched on a couple of fascinating ways to enhance our freedom to choose and build our proactive muscle. In the next talk, we'll build upon this foundation and view to the second habit.